Okay, so here is our map so far. Okay, so there's a little bit, the lake of Lake Falls a bit different compared to how it used to be. We've actually got depth now. I, I thought that was a nice touch um, to show that there's actually rock in, in that lake. Um, and it's pretty cool because it's like faded the deeper it's got as well. And I've managed to get the water animated as well. Um, there's a couple of bits that aren't 100% perfect that I might need to tidy up, such as this corner here. But it's mostly okay. Um, last stream we were working on all this in general, the under the water part with the cliff and it's all done now, all sorted. Took a bit of work to get perfected. Hi Ray, do how are you doing? It's good to see you. Happy Monday. So I'd say the water stuff is probably done. The edges. <laughs> Um, now we've actually got the cliff as, as the edges of the water compared to how it used to be, which was like just pebbles. Like this is the default pebbles that one of the vanilla tiles uses the default in the default engine. And I didn't mind them, like they look okay. The, the repeated pattern's a bit too repeated, I felt. And uh, I'm glad we've switched. I think, well, because we... I wanted to sort of show the depth of the lake um, and add and not just have it be pure water um, it, it had to be the cliff really to, to make to make it all blend together so it's very very cliffy place now and I think it looks more a little bit more epic than it did um, for sure which is always a good thing. I dig it, yay. Yeah, like, I mean, compare it to the original. Now, I'm no means against the original. I thought I was pretty satisfied with that, but it just looks a lot more flat. Um, and we still have so much more to add, of course. We've got the trees, the buildings, and the bridges and everything else, and that will really help bring it to life too. Um, and... Uh, because we were like showing, you know, we've got cliff showing in the water in general, it, it only makes sense to show it here too. Um, otherwise people will be like, so, are the bar bodies buried under the water? <laughs> like they, they, there's a question mark of how, what this patch of land is without actually seeing the cliff underneath. And now we know it's there and it kind of is parallel to where the cave is going to be just about almost i mean i might switch this part of the cliff around like just flip it so that and then i think it will be exactly in the middle of where this is um i think the depth definitely makes it feel more like a lake for sure yeah that's for sure we got it i mean we got this waterfall here as well and we're going to ask where all that water's coming from and i mean i'm no expert on waterfalls <laughs> well maybe if there's any waterfall pros in chat they can clear things up because we want it to be believable that there is a waterfall here as well um and because this is so deep now it makes more sense that there'd be a sort of overflow especially when it rains if, if there is a high rainfall in this forest then there'd be a flood if uh, <laughs> there'd be a flood here if uh, if it wasn't for the the waterfall um okay so um the shaping we might adjust a touch but i'm gonna get the buildings and trees in first and we'll see how how the shaping is um, then once we've got the the trees and stuff in um, but it's basically the same as how it is here I basically just copied it just of course replaced the pebbles with cliff instead and I was thinking of making this pack this section in the middle a little bit larger by a little bit just it might be a touch tiny but I yeah we'll see because that's just me thinking things if we wanted to have more gravestones in the center at the moment we've got 10 but we'll, we'll see how everything looks when the tree and the buildings are in and uh, 
and uh, then we'll know where to go from here because today we we will we're gonna work on the buildings and the trees and and all that sh shits today because we've done the watering cliffs now and yeah there's a few like this bit here as well where um, Fiona Buckington is I've done it here as well I've added the the water part here it's not perfect yet particularly this section needs sorting where the straight bits are um the curved bits aren't too bad though but it's uh it's, it's you get the idea of what what we're going for anyway um and uh originally it was like this hi Vad, how are you doing originally it was like this and uh it was m a little bit more flat again and uh, it, we, we've kind of given, you know, shown the depth off more here as well. So, uh, huzzah for depth. And all this was done with purely tile sets as well. The whole fade, the fact it's faded as it's got deeper was all done with tile sets too. Wah -ha -ha. So, um, literally, this is what it looks like without it. Water depth hide how it looks just so different like I, I can't quite get over it it's crazy what a difference something like that can make um just looks so much flatter um and it's okay but with the whole waterfall the whole depth thing that we got going here makes sense to continue that pattern right um and trying to get my monday game working and lurking as usual yeah I hope your Monday's treating you well then. We are just, I was, I, well, I was working on a bit of water depth over the weekend. Um, all the water stuff is mostly dealt with now. Just might want to tidy up the shaping of some of the edges and, but that's all really small stuff now. So we're going to be moving on to the next part, which is adding the buildings and the trees now. So we'll get to really see it come to life a bit more now. And I added all the, the grass and the paths as well over the weekend too. Um, so let's get our depth back. It's weird isn't it how different it looks. <laughs> okay so uh, I think it looks nice zoomed out funnily enough when it's got that there. Right I'm excited to add more of the stuff so was helping with an online gen convention this past weekend on Second Life, so things flew by. Oh my God, Second Life, those were the days. Um, I remember when I went on that um, website. I didn't spend much time on it though. Mine was mainly Habo Hotel, that was the one I went on. But then I tried Second Life after. Awesome, but that sounds fun. It flew by. Busy, you busy, you were a busy one then. Also, I'm really holding in the toilet because of all this water, but I can't go in because someone's in the show. <laughs> so, who oh no, I'll manage though. Okay, so let's, uh, we got four buildings here, and we've got one here, and we've got one here. So, we've got six buildings to add. Uh, so, we'll get those done first and I was thinking of giving them a recolor actually slightly um, compared to the defaults because these are literally exactly what the the default tiles look like so we can give them a recolor to match just a little bit with the whole color scheme we've got going on I feel like doing recolorings when we worked on the farm map worked really well because we ended up with a really nice color scheme on the map when we went out of our way to actually color recolor the stuff and I think that we can do that here too um, so everything that man I don't know what color that is I guess you could say yellow yellowy brown but everything's a different color the this wood here on the buildings is different the bridge the, the bridge is a different colour to the buildings and the tree bottoms are also a different colour. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's make all the wood the same colour for consistency and it will make set more sense then because then it looks like it's all come from that to the same place. Like they were, the houses were built from the trees and the bridges were built from the trees, etc. So, um, yes, that's what we should do. It's, it's a wood stream today. 
with a water stream on Friday and a cliff stream before now it's a wood stream. Second life has changed a bit so it's better when I first got my account years ago but they are still trying to figure themselves as I think as a world but I was invited in to do some logo design and art for the event nice parties I wasn't as tired as the usual volunteer when I end up running around like crazy trying to help the folks oh well that sounds really fun super fun it feels like a lifetime ago when I did something like that like a convention because uh well the ones this year I think have been cancelled because of the pandemic um and yes i hope it was fun also i'm actually quite surprised there was one because i would have assumed the wood it would have got cancelled but all good yeah that's oh it was actually online oh yes i missed that keyword online i was like a convention and then i i just saw it yeah <laughs> that's a good idea i suppose to make up for not having an actual one Uh, okay, so buildings. So we haven't even added them to our tile set. So we're going to be completely doing that now from the beginning. So tiles, tile sets. Okay, so this is the buildings. I'm opening opening it now and I think we only used these four here at the bottom for our buildings we didn't use any of the others so um, let's get the grid up so we're deleting the others because I'm gonna get out the habit of leaving things on our tile sets that we aren't using anymore we'll keep our things that we do use um, so let's just look at our map in fact it's probably gonna be easier to get like fall up the, the map screenshot of it so we, we I don't have to keep switching back into the program and looking Okay, so I'm just making sure. Yeah, some of these tiles might need to be changed a bit because. Um, hmm, okay. There's only a few here, and that's because RPG Maker does these sort of tiles a weird way. They're like auto tiles or something. So we, we're going to have to, yeah, we might have to take a copy and paste from the actual map for our tiles. Because the auto tile thing doesn't really work in tile to the same way as it does in RPG Maker and V. But there's, all, there's an easy enough way around it. Um, Okay, so I'm thinking of colours now. Um, I've got a couple of references. So let's just get those up. So this is one, like the colour of these, but we might go a bit darker than that just so it doesn't clash with the colour of the cliffs too much because I think that's pretty close to our cliff colour. Um, but we've also got another reference we've got is uh, when we did the weapons guys. Um, I match them. Remember, we match them to be Everbloom themed, and we got that is literally the cliff colour, and 
because our new cliffs are still the same colour as the old ones, so. And this, I suppose, could be the colour of the wood. I think that that's what I had in mind for the colour of the wood when we, because I was always going to do a bit of a recolouring. Um, so I'm going to use that as a reference as well. I'll take some of this as well, just so we can get the colours right. Because, yeah, these colours here are just, uh, they're a bit yellow. A little bit yellow for uh, the colours that, you know, I think I think we could potentially get it to look a lot more complimented when we recolour the buildings. Sorry, Rare's work call came through just as you came on camera. Oh, no worries, Ashley. I was just rambling on as I always do. Um, and I said GG on the RPG maker. Like, well, I know you haven't started yet, but how exciting. Super, super fun. Hope, hope you uh, have a good experience with the engine. Hey, Rose Queen. Hi, Neville. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Hope you are doing well. Hope you had a good weekend, Neffle. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I like this brown on the axe. It's actually the same brown that's here on this wood bit that you guys are walking on. So it, it could be more that colour when we finished. And I think that might look nice looking at the colours that we've got here. I think that brown could look nice. And if we use that for the tree and the bridges too, we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so. First of all, I'm gonna, because these aren't really the tiles we're gonna be using, we're gonna have to do some manual uh, grabs of these. So let's get the tiles here. So it's probably, in fact, I think those six tiles that I'm highlighting now are all we need. In fact, we might not need that one there. Let's have a look. We'll copy and paste those. So we're making a new tile set now, guys. We're preparing our tile set for the buildings because we're going to be working on adding buildings and trees to our brand spanking new map today, which was a map we already had for those that are just popping in have weren't at last week's streams this is our original map guys and we're reworking it into something a little bit more epic and and tiles are just easier to edit as well so that's a big reason for the change as well as the fact that we're allowed to have everything on one map now like this is uh what we're dealing with here we've got a big open world going on well you know we've got the potential for more of an open seamless world than it was before when everything was just separate images because originally although i pieced all the parallax maps together here it, it wouldn't work like that in game it would crash It'd be too much memory for the engine to handle using huge image files like that but look with this way we can do it and have it all together because it's tiles and it takes up a lot less so it's kind of really really uh, cool to be quite honest so and uh, as we're doing it as we're redoing it all we're sort of improving bits i mean we've added a bit more depth here on the water compared to what it used to be like um the colours are a little bit nicer and a bit more vibrant and the cliffs look a, a bit more nicer and seamless now as well and we're, we're going to be recolouring the buildings too and making sure that all the wood is the same colour the tree wood and um, the bridges and the, the buildings because they're all made out of wood Neffle, thank you so much for those theatres I appreciate that and hi Aqua, how are you doing? it's good to see you cool cat, always liked that emote it's a classic hope you're having a good day aqua and thank you for that follow as well i appreciate that follow too 
Um, and Neffle, thank you very much for the bitties. Let's have some hype in chat for those bitties. Neffle is number one of the month. We've just started a new brand new month. It's August. Can you believe it, guys? Who thinks 2020's gone by fast and who thinks it's gone by slow? Because some people have said it's slow because of, um, you know, the pandemic and everything. People's lives have been same old, same old because of it. And it, I, that can make things go by dead slow. But I think it's gone by fast. I really do. I think it's just shot by. It's gone by slow. Yeah, it's weird because what Van has said that it's slow is what a lot of friends I've had, like I've heard say as well. And it's normal, you know, because being in and you know, not and uh, this whole situation has definitely made things feel like it's dragging. But yeah, at the same time, it's gone fast. It's strange. Time's weird. Time can't wait for this year to be over. Yeah, I want 2020 cancelled. In all honesty, let's start 2021. <laughs> that would be nice. I've missed some streams. Lost track a bit. Yay! Well, you're here, Neffle. And uh, from oh yeah, I forgot to say because we upload all the streams on YouTube anyway, so there's a whole archive of them to catch up on. But something else I'm doing now for for folks that might miss streams is um, I'm uploading tweets of every stream with just like a short description on what we did on the stream with a screenshot. Um, so if you check out, I mean. It's on the Raindrop Chronicles Twitter Raindrop RPG. You might, if you have a little nosy, you'll notice that we've I've actually been posting tweets for the streams, and uh, that that'll like just keep keep us all up to date on what we're doing each stream, I guess. And um, and yes, um, and I'm gonna kind of do that because it's it's not it's not too difficult to do that. Easy peasy screenshot, link to YouTube video, win win. Oh, you made a piggy pet character, I missed it. I think, yeah, I did, I made your piggy, Naffle. And uh, <laughs> he's cute, isn't he? He's got his blonde hair poking out that mask. So you're there walking across the screen now. He's very cute, thank you, yeah, and I, I love pigs, so I was very happy to see that there was somebody in that, in that community that made a pig character for the game. Any excuse to have, like, sort of pig in the game, and I think it's a, we were, when we were making it, during the stream, we were, I think the community as a whole thought the character was pretty interesting. There's a lot of potential with that sort of character. Could have a cult of pigs, like, who wear masks, that would be really cool. A cult of, uh, of, of pig masked people hi oh my goodness kebab thank you so much for that raid i appreciate that i hope you're having a good day thank you for bringing your community over how are you guys doing welcome to the stream does he have his character card or not yet oh well we're putting everything onto the law bible from now on neffle i'm actually going to just go in the discord to show this off just a sec just so people know because this is actually a pretty important thing okay so here we go guys characters places section in our discord this is where we keep all the profiles at the moment, but things are sort of changing. Engine, thank you so much for that follow. How are you doing? Let's give a shout out to Kebab as well for that for that raid. Let's see what Kebab was up to. Ooh, we're doing a bit of science and technology too. I hope your stream went well. Feel free to tell us what, what happened, what you did in the stream, guys. It's always uh, fun to know. You've got to run off, have a nice stream. Take it calm. Thanks for bringing your community over. It's good to meet you. And yeah, you, you got, I totally understand needing to go. I do the same. The end of the stream, need to get that, that food and get away from the screen. Thank you, Clarenton, for that follow. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, guys. Um, and for those that are just coming in with the raid, um, give you a little description of what we do here i mean we got it in the banners now i've kind of got this little banner slide show going on um so that sums it up but yeah we're we're making a 2d rpg here i'm the developer 
a solo developer and made community help me out and we come up with tons of cool ideas together for the game, don't we guys? It's lots of fun. We're all RPG nerds, so if you like RPGs too, then you'll find a home here, no doubt. A weird accent? That's a way to describe it. I've only ever had a nice thing said about my accent. Weird? That's a weird word. Weird is a weird word, isn't it? Thank you, Javelin, for the follow. <laughs> weird is a weird word because sometimes it's like, uh, yeah, that's like, because I always describe myself as weird in general because I'm not normal. I'm a nerd, I'm a big old nerd. Um, but then when someone else says you're weird, it's like, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, so Neffel asked a question as well. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's weird. Um, <laughs> pretty rude to be honest. Yeah, in fact, you can go because we don't have mean people here. <laughs> Hi Stay Firsty, how are you go are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um and uh okay, so everything's gonna be going on the law bible. So here's our law bible guys. At the moment we've only got a few profiles on there, but everybody's gonna be moved to here eventually. But it's gonna take a bit of time because we've gotta get it all written up again and looking good, but it's going to be something that we work on throughout the next week or so. And I have neglected it a bit. I keep saying I'll have more profiles, but I've been distracted by a new tile set map thing that we're doing. Um, worriedly, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay. So yeah, feel free to check out the law bob and that goes for anyone as well. Have a nosy. Still in its early days, but it will be amazing when we get more stuff up. So I think these two tiles are the same, so we'll delete that one. Okay. So we're working on a, a, a new tile set map, folks, for those coming in today. We're improving our old maps into nicer ones. Um, they used to be PNG maps, but they're gonna be now tile sets because they're just better. Um, and we've added the cliffs and everything down now. So we're gonna be adding more of the, the fancy stuff, like the buildings and the trees. And it's probably gonna look a whole lot more lively and full when we've done that. So that's that one. I think there was four different building types that we we used. So I'm gonna delete what we've got so we don't so we don't get confused. This one looks like it's got corners actually. This one didn't.
I'm going to get rid of this uh, extra line on the grid because it's a bit confusing. There we go, that's better. It's hard to see the grid actually. Okay, just checking if those two tiles are the same and they are. So that means we can delete this extra one. So we don't really want any unnecessary tiles, do we? Okay, so yeah, I think that, I'm trying to think if I had to set this up. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit difficult grabbing these because there's like vines in front of some of them. So I'm trying to think of how to do that because, yeah, these are how the tile sets look normally. Uh, in fact, do it this way let's let's go back so there's a way to, to get every single tile that we need rather than do it manually um, we have to go through a process to do that um, okay so crop just temporarily did that and we'll save this um, and then what we have to do is put it in. Okay, this could be confusing. I don't know if I want to do it that way. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of a differences with the RPG Maker editor and tile sets compared to tiled. So, but we'll get we'll get it sorted. Um, it might be impossible to grab them from these buildings, you know, if there's vines in front. Um, and I don't think... I mean, we can always go back in RPG Maker and delete the vines, but... Hmm. And that could be flipped as well, I guess. It's pretty much the same. I don't mind flipping things that are, that are like buildings. The map looks really nice. Yeah, this map, I mean, this is our original map and I, I still really like it. I'm still really fond of it. That's why when we do change it into a tile set, I still want it to look pretty much the same because I like it. Anything that we change will be an improvement if we're going to change it. But yeah, when it comes to improvements, it's literally just things like adding depth to the, the cliffs here. Everything else will be more or less the same, um, which is what we did. We added a bit more depth. Um, thank you, Nathan. Appreciate the kind words. Okay, so I've got a way that we can do this. So one at a one bit at a time, guys. Um, if we can get the buildings in soon in the first half of the stream, that'd be fantastic. And then we can move on to trees. Um, okay, so it's four buildings, I think. Four building types anyway. So this is the first one. So we're making the tile set for it, and we don't need anything that's repeated that's uh, the same tile so we're going to delete these ones because they're all the same so that we've only got the middle the edge and the middle and the edges if that makes sense so I 
actually going to hide that these for now just so they don't get in the way uh, and um, okay and then the bottom bit the wood bit uh, okay it's going to be a bit more tricky with this because there's things in the way but if worse comes to worse, we can just delete the stuff that's in the way in RPG Maker and take a new screenshot. It'd be a bit of a pain in the butt to do that because then, because to take screenshots, we have to have a special plugin and and uh, set it all up and stuff. So but we'll see if we can do it like this first. The old one is looking good already. Yeah, the old one's fab. I'm just, it's I'm just always like, but it could be better. <laughs> Yeah, the old one's fab and I'm, I'm quite happy with it because it's the first thing I've ever did in the whole... Before we even started stream one, I'd already done that map, so yeah. <laughs> I forgot how powerful tool the R RPG Maker can be, yeah. RPG Maker's great, although it does have its limitations, like this map couldn't be created in the editor that's why we had we had to turn it into an actual image to add extra details but i found a super nice um tool called tiled that'll allow us to do fancy detail tiles like this it's very good um okay so that can go So, and we can repeat, I think we can flip that, I think that'll be... So we just need the middle bit for that one. Um, I don't know if any of the other buildings have that one, because I've made all buildings look different from each other. Yeah, they've all got a different wood. Um, what about, because we've got two more buildings, so we'll open their maps as well. Oh, I think this one uses the same one. So I think we're all good, we can use this one for the middle. Away. yeah that's weird yeah it's probably because I flipped it maybe why that happened tiled here every single one of the set might be the same but there might not be because there might be more shadow on that one it's hard to tell and yeah the buildings are a little bit tricky as well because okay because the way they're done in rpg maker is uh a bit unusual so that's why we're having a little bit of a tile set set up to do now so yeah there's definitely shadow on that one um, okay so I'm good I'm gonna have to make this easier on myself I think so right let's open RPG maker yeah, we're going to have to delete those vines on top of the buildings because that's what's preventing us from grabbing the tile. Um, or we could just do it this way, actually. This might be a little bit easier for us. So 
because this is our practice project at the moment that we've got up so I'm gonna just put, put plop all the buildings down here that we're gonna need so Yeah, I think nine tiles. That's what we need. So we've got four buildings with nine tiles for a roof. And nine tiles for the actual building part. And I think those, those uh, all these tiles I'm putting down now are all we need. Don't we, we do, that's any, we don't need any extra than that. And the buildings themselves are larger than that, but we'll, uh, we only need the tiles that we, we, that we need, if that makes sense. So we need to take a screenshot of this. So um, it's not as simple as just putting them there and having them. Um, so we need the plugin for that and I need to put that in our new project file. Thank you Kishson for the follow, I appreciate that, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. So I think it was Orange Map Shot, I think the name of this plugin was. So let's just find that and drag it to our new um, project folder. And practice project folder, should I say? In there now, so oh, yeah, so I think everything's set up fine. Okay, okay, now save. Their map so far, and the building should be somewhere down here. I think I put them, didn't I? <laughs> Forgot where I put them. I knew it wasn't far from me. But they're not here. Maybe the reason they're not here is because <laughs> it's because the tiles going over it. Okay. This, this is never simple, is it? There's always uh, something. Okay, um. Right, to do that, we're gonna have to turn off tile temporarily. So the tile plugin can go off and then the map won't show. Morning resin chat, hi MT, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good week. Okay, so here they are. And we can't even move now to take, but I don't think we need to actually see them on screen. So, screenshot. Okay, so I've taken a screenshot of them now. That means that the image should be somewhere. We can open it in Photoshop and finally we'll have all the tiles we need for our buildings. Huzzah. Thank you, MT, for that follow. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to our Nerd RPG stream where we make an awesome game with a cast of quirky and charming characters. And we listen to lots of RPG music in the background too. The playlist is ever growing. It's, it's 10 hours long now, the playlist is. And it'll probably get longer and longer. Um, where 
is this silly image hiding because it did go into the folder I thought it went into. Neffle, thank you for the 20 more bitties. Neffle is bitty king of, of the month. I love 2D RPGs, so you get my immediate follow. Yay! Well, that's great to hear. Always, always want a fellow awesome, like-minded folk here in this stream who appreciate a good game. <laughs> always good to meet them. And some hype for Neffle. Those biddies. Yeah, this is a, a weird one. Let's see if I can hunt down this image now. It should have taken a screenshot for us, but it seemed it didn't. So I'm going to actually do another task play and take another screenshot. Because so it's not saved anywhere, this image isn't. Okay. Maybe I didn't press the right key. Okay, that was... Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, okay. Okay, opens up the folder, but there's no image in it that's being saved, strangely. Very weird. Maybe it's not counting it because there's barely anything on here. Weird. <laughs> okay, so, oh, okay, how are we gonna do this? Who would have thought such a simple thing would be a pain? Because <laughs> this is this is like the easiest thing I could have possibly done to downstream, you know. Just get the tiles for the buildings and put the buildings on the map. <laughs> and it's being weird um yeah because i mean we could just literally print screen this but we're not going to get the best quality so that's why it's always better to actually use map shot to do it so but for some reason map shot's not working uh I'm going to literally, I mean, I don't think this is going to make a difference. Part of me thinking because there wasn't a ground layer, maybe. That's why it wasn't taking a screenshot. Bit of an out there theory. Yeah, this folder's empty. Every time I've used MapShot before, it's taken the picture per fine, but it just decides it doesn't want to now for some reason. So this, we can't do this as we wanted to. This would have been the easiest way to get our tiles, but MapShot's not working. We can also do it by saving this as an image, but I've heard it's not good quality. if you do it that way apparently but we'll have a look Even that isn't saving the images. I 
I've never used this development program. I'm developing dreams, but I've wanted to try RPG Maker for some time. Oh, cool. What's dreams like? What sort of uh, games and that can you do in that platform? RPG Maker is a great one. It's very um, it's very easy to pick up. Like it's not a complicated one, so it's great if you just want to do, you know, your, an old school two D retro RPG style of game in the easiest way possible. Um, and there's lots of plugins. There's a great community of people that are very active in making uh, mods and plugins for the for the engine, which is always really nice as well. Um, and it, yeah, it has its limitations and drawbacks, but uh, there's all like I've been fine so far, and uh, it's been working out for me. You can create almost anything aside from a MMO. Oh, that's interesting. Super cool. Hi, Chub Cheeks. How are you doing? It's good to see you, Chub. I hope you're having a good week. What have you made then, MT? I'm intrigued now. Okay, so I'm trying to get my head around what we can do because for some reason it's not like map shot isn't working. Very weird how it isn't. The only other thing we can do um, is we open out our normal project and do it in there where map shot apparently does work. So turn back on that plugin save our project file and we'll close it okay so this is our main project now that we're loading um okay so now i don't want to ruin the buildings by getting rid of the vines on them But I might have to. But we got screenshots, so you know, if we ever want that back, it's not a problem. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of everything on the buildings. In fact, I, yeah, but you have to save the project, so <laughs> yeah, I can't just do it. As long as everything's not got something on it at the front, that's fine. Cool. I think that's everything then. Okay, so... I'm going to have to put the starting point on here. Now I don't like I don't like messing with my maps that I've already done because I get worried I'm gonna forget. But we have to do it this way. Change that to that so that the event doesn't run straight away when we start. You can't see me. You're invisible, chub cheeks. Psychological 2D RPG, trying to make a 2D game psychological is proven harder than I thought. Oh my goodness, that sounds really interesting. And yeah, I'm sure everything's always a challenge. I mean, believe me, I get that when you say it's proven hard and you thought, I, I get that this is proved me harder than I thought it would as well. There was me thinking I could release episode one this year. I was dreaming. <laughs> yeah. And this looks incredible, I love the art. Yeah, and I mean, the art that we use for our task set isn't mine, although I tend to do uh, a lot of editing to get. And oh, I'm very sorry guys, we've got music in the background. So there we go, let's turn that off. Um, Okay, so print screen. Hopefully that's printed okay and we don't have the beam in front. 
So you guys can actually see that test play because I wasn't showing it on the screen at the time. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's actually taken a screenshot for us. I think it's behaved itself. Um, There we go. So let's get Photoshop back up so you can see, folks. Thank you for the kind words, Empty. And honestly, that your game sounds really cool. How far are you through it? Okay, so now we've done that, we can grab all the building we need. It's going to be much easier now we don't have vines and shiz in the way. Uh, so, because what we're doing, guys, in case you're confused, why are we sort of redoing all this? It's because we, I made the decision about a week ago now, yeah, almost a week ago now, to change the maps to tile sets from Parallax PNG maps. Um, so we're going in the process of actually redoing all the mapping, but it's going to look virtually the same as what it did with slight improvements. Um, but it's going to just be better for like numerous reasons this way now. And yeah, it's, it's took about going to take a couple of weeks out of our development time improving this. We've had to sort of put the, some things aside such as the fruit boss scene we was working on while we're doing this. But I couldn't like do that while everything was as it was. Um, I would make sure the rest of the game is seamless and great working first. Vess, thank you for the follow, how are you doing? Welcome to your stream. Um, okay, so. So yeah, that this is how I'm gonna do it. Delete the middle ones, apart from one of the middle ones, because we still want one of the middle tiles, of course. And it should we should have it so that there's 18 squares, six by three, when we're done with the building. So that's one. Finally done one. <laughs> also, that can go now. We can delete that. Uh, number two. I am super excited to finally see the buildings on our new map though. To see how they look with our new cliffs and stuffs. Because the, the only things we've really improved from the, uh, the old map is um, the cliffs and the water. The trees are going to stay the same and the buildings will stay the same and pretty much everything else. We might change the flowers a little bit though, but we'll see. Only because the, the flowers that we used before are actually just the RPG Maker default ones, so I might want some more fancy unique ones. I still, I still want them to, I don't want it to change too much, unless it looks better of course, and I don't mind. Um, okay, so that's that one. I started three weeks ago and made a very short intro and did the main menu. Most of the work has been trying to figure out the options and UI, I made the models and wrote the music. It takes a long time, so about 70 hours, yeah. I, I pretty much work on this project all the time in my waking hours um, with a little break now and again but I definitely work more than what a 9 to 5 person that works, that's for sure <laughs> but um, 
but yeah um, even though I work all the time on it it's very slow because it's an RPG and I'm just one person like I was thinking the other day that say a team of 28 people they could do what I what I do in a month they could do in a day if there was a team of 28 people which is pretty crazy but it just shows that you know you're just one person and things will things will take the time and that's fine because we're not robots are we Have you even considered having a bigger team? No, because I don't have a budget, so that's one reason why not. If anyone ever wanted to do stuff, it would be voluntary. And I and uh, I kind it kind of doesn't sit right with me because the last time I worked on a game in 2015, it was a while back. Uh, he, I worked with someone else then on a game, and the project just got cancelled in the end because. And it, it was out of my control. It was because of them and I needed them. So that project had to stop just because they didn't do it anymore. And um, it's kind of made me feel I want to do things on my own from now on and not have to count on other people because it's... Especially if someone's not getting paid for it, they could go at any moment, even if they were getting paid. It's just so complicated and I'm not really a people person. Um, at all, um, <laughs> I, I don't like people, which is funny because I'm a streamer, but I'm very introverted and my time on stream is my social outlet because we all need it, but mostly I like to just sort of, I'm, I'm a very, I'm a lone wolf sort of person, that's for sure. Um, do you take volunteers still, you being the boss and making all decisions? Yeah. And uh, it, it's a bit scary for sure because I know what people are like. Um, my time as a streamer, I've come across, I've had some issues with people and they've thrown, people who I thought were decent human beings have ended up being complete nutters. And it's just not, it, the whole burden of dealing with people is something I'm not willing to take on. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, I feel so much better it all being my own thing. And uh, yeah, so. And hi, and uh, M Time, that emote is adorable, by the way. I want to have a closer look. It has a really cute nose. Hi, Kappa, how are you doing? The feels Kappa man. <laughs> I think a lot of introverts don't mind streaming, maybe it has to do with not seeing the people in chat face to face, yeah. I'm okay talking with people face to face, um, I'm just very, very much, my creative process and is so like personal to me and I don't want to become a corporate drone, if that makes any sense, I like the whole indie thing and being having control of my creative freedom because um this is all mine like somebody could say oh that 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 could be cool that you could add to the game because yeah it's a community project everything's very open in terms of ideas that people suggest but i'm the person i could just be like no and that's it then you know what i mean i'm still the person in control and i guess to a certain degree if i had other people I'd still be the one in control, but it feels like I'm still taking some of that away from me, like the way that it's done, that's being taken away from me to a certain extent. What would be ideal would just be clouding myself 20 times, that would be nice, because then, uh, <laughs> then it's still me doing it. Um, yeah, I'm just a very proud person and, and uh, with my work and um, there's something about doing something yourself that you can get a lot of uh, satisfaction from and it's just the time and that it takes is the only issue but I'm learning to deal with that perfectly fine like I don't feel like oh my goodness I would rather if I, I I'm the last thing I'm thinking is I want this out in six months so let's hurry up and get 
20 people so we can get it out in six months now i'm fine to take like triple or four times that time if if it's just me alone doing it for the sake of my sanity <laughs> introverts any other intps out there oh i'm an infj that's my personality type interesting i think yeah i'm definitely a big i and n and i'm an f as well and i'm a j yeah i'm a massive infj no doubt about that <laughs> i feel pretty much the same about being a corporate j unfortunately i'm pretty much stuck as one it totally drains my creativity hi papa demos yeah and sometimes like we have to be one if we want to pay the bills and I can totally get that sometimes we're in that situation but don't want to be I mean who knows I mean I've been like in that situation at one time in my life and I didn't like it so I quit um, but you know sometimes we have to we have to do it because that's life um, but if we have our own little creative outlet if there is something in our life that is what we do a special creative thing why ruin that and turn it into something that's you know it, it, that would destroy the the what reason it's very precious so so yeah I, I'm um I mean I'm not against like who knows one day if we if if some if we became a team or I had the, the sort of influence and budget to turn what I do into an actual proper team I wouldn't say no but I'd have to be in a position to do that of course financially stable and would be would be the the big one and that is something I'm not to so, say um and um I, I pretty much yeah I used to have my own business for about 14 years I really miss that oh that's really cool what what was it that you did if, if you don't mind me asking but for sure um but yeah it's we can get through it guys it's it's uh it's that I think about it all the time like me working as a corporate drone one day and how much I'd hate that and do and if I had to do this even less than I'm doing it now I that thought like is depressing um but I'm, I'm at, at the moment I'm I'm lucky because I'm able to do this because I'm living at home so I don't have to pay bills I can live off the bare minimum right now um but it's not like I'm also sacrificing that part of my life to the fact I I don't have independence because I'm still living with my parents and that's that's something else I'm you know so you can't it's never a, a you know you're always losing out in some way it'd be great to have my own place um, but then if I did have my own place I'd have to afford to pay for it so, and then the project time would have to be sacrificed um, when my friend told me about the Myers-Briggs test, we could pre pretty quickly tell I was INT something but could not understand the difference between judging and perceiving. Then took the test and I was basically split between 50-50 J and P, very slightly leaning towards INTJ. Ah, interesting. Yeah, the T one's an interesting one, but I'm, I'm definitely an F because I'm very emotional, so... Yeah, but it would be cool. I've always wished I was a T because I want to be a badass logical thinker. And I, I don't like being the sort of person that's more with emotions. Kind of sucks sometimes. <laughs> and Van's an introvert too. And you're glad to help when you can, Van. Yeah. And for sure, like some of you guys, Van being one of them, have been like so good with the project, come up with so many cool things um but you know it's it's so different that sort of freedom of the community being able to pop in and go whenever they please and just contribute when they feel like it to actually being a worker for me like there's a big difference so um and uh we did various web-based services mostly related to creating programs for sales and marketing personnel with some extra focus on the graphical parts oh cool that sounds fun 
Do you ever thought about one day doing something like that again? Or um, Tea forever, it's actually not that great. Oh, isn't it? Don't you like being in a tea? When we get back to doing that story building, we still have quite a bit to go over that stuff I gave you all about that for sure. And that's something that I want to like revisit soon because especially as we go into the third main quest content and start doing side quests, for example, I'm going to want to be sort of all up to speed with that so that I, we actually have some ideas for new content. I think it's because we're at the stage where we're sort of really working old stuff and polishing everything that that's taken a back seat for now but for sure it's definitely on my mind and I'm very excited about it super excited okay so one more building I think so down here Yeah, I'd like to run my own business again and maybe I will later on, but right now it's not really possible, yeah. For sure, but you never know. You never know what could be ahead for you. Life's a weird thing, isn't it, guys? Okay, so I think that's all the tiles we need for our buildings. We'll just make sure they look good. I think they don't look too bad. I mean, certain things can be improved with these, like getting rid of, we can always like delete this background bit so it doesn't look like a weird square with a with, with a point in that corner. I think we can make that transparent. So there's definitely room for a bit of improvement, but this will do for now because we just want it to look like how um, our old map looks at the moment. So what we're going to be doing, guys, this is our map currently. This is our old one and this is our new one. Um, it's slowly just getting remade into tile sets. This here is just a PNG overlay that we're putting in to make sure that we can get it looking the same. Um, and the basement of everything. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, basically. That's what this has been like. Um, and now we're going to get the buildings put in place. But I wanted to I'd do a recolouring of them. so Because they're a little bit yellow at the moment. And I don't know if that's the best look I want them to be a bit more brown so here was the I think this was the where is it hiding I think it's hiding behind here yeah this wood on this axe was the colour I was thinking of going um, for, for the wood in the Everbloom forest just let me know when you want to get back to that. Of course I will. I'll throw you a DM for sure. Um, whenever, whenever like all this stuff is a bit more out the way and we're getting closer to to the doing the adding the new content for sure. I'll, but I'll probably want to read up all on it well before then. So it'll probably be in the next couple of weeks or something, Van. To be honest, I can imagine. And um, hi Andy Cake, how are you doing? And Papa, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. Do you guys like the winking barrel that wears the, the pink bra that <laughs> alert that comes up when someone follows? She's beautiful. Her name is Meryl the Barrel. The water makes me want to swim. Yeah, it looks very beautiful. I'm not surprised it makes you want to swim because your name's Aqua. So you probably like water with that name. It's a very, it's a very, uh... It's a very pretty colour. Our, our old waterfall looked like this, guys. Um, and we've made it a little bit more green and pretty now. So there's a few there's a few like bits that aren't perfect by the way yet, like this. I need to sort of make a tile for that so that we don't have a random weird cutoff, but well, I'm going to think about all that stuff after. Let's get the buildings and trees in first. Um, but look at all these layers we've got here. We've got like 
loads now and I've tested the performance and RPG Maker seems to run completely fine with this new tile set map as well so that's great to, to know okay so let's think the best way to recolor these and then we can start adding them So I like using selective colour, I'm going to get Photoshop up. Probably take a little bit of messing around to get the um, the shade we like. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. How are you doing though Andy Cake? Hope you're having a good Monday. It's cute. Yeah, I'm basically trying to go for the colour that's the same as this one on the stream overlay where the characters are walking, basically. So as you can see, we're getting close, a bit closer to that now. I think that's pretty much... That's pretty much there. So I'm gonna make sure I write down these colour codes so that we don't forget. Because that'd be bad if we forget. So it's cyan plus 80. Magenta plus 40. Yellow plus no, yellow minus 40. Yeah, that's it. Plus 80 plus 40 minus 40. Done. Um, ah, where you go? <laughs> it's gone back to how it was. Okay, let's do it again. I must have pressed cancel instead. And I think another reason why I was inclined to do a recolouring to make it a bit less yellow was because our next region, which hasn't been introduced to the game yet because we still, it was only there in a flashback sequence, that's very yellow in colour scheme, the farm. Um, so I kind of want Everbling Forest to look a bit more distinct and not the same when we go between regions. So if Everbling Forest is more brown and green, then the farm will st stand out more as being a bit more yellow when we go there. Um, there's nothing better than getting home after a day. I wish I could feel that 24-7. Yeah? Nothing better than getting home. Nothing better than being out for ages and coming home and being like, finally, I'm at home. That's how I feel. Because I'm a hermit and I know that when I get home, I feel the best. Now this building, and this particular axe here that we're looking at, this is going to be a weapon, very likely going to be a weapon that's sold, or won from a quest somewhere maybe, like a quest reward, or even a crafting reward, we haven't decided completely yet, but as you can see it's a floral themed axe with flowers and vines on it, and it's obviously made out of wood, the stick, so realistically we want the wood of Everbloom Forest to match with this stick, because I'm, I'm a sucker for attention to detail and I want to make sure that everything looks like it belongs, um, um, and, this, and this kind of, the weapon was came from here. Um, okay, so plus... Plus 80. Minus 40. There we go. So the buildings aren't going to look exactly the same colour. They'll sort of look slightly different because they're different patterns. But they'll more, they'll more or less be 
the same shade this brown that we're going for um the best feeling I ever felt was when I broke my foot and the cast came off and it was the most itchiest thing I'd have felt and to scratch that itch was divine. Oh my goodness, just reading that makes me want to have that feeling. Like, that sounds like heaven. <laughs> it's not heaven when it's itchy though. That'd be horrible, really annoying. But yeah, having it off and being able to give it a good scratch, that's amazing. I oh, won't can relate. <laughs> Sounds really good. Felt special taking care of your foot as well. <laughs> Keep in mind my foot is currently broken. Oh, is it? But that but have you got the cast on right now? Take it, take the take, take the cast off and give it a good scratch. I'm jealous. Well, I'm not jealous because I don't want one, but I, that would be something that I would like, that I have to admit. I can definitely relate. Well, I could definitely imagine myself want, wanting to do that if I was in that situation. I have a walking cast on it. It was three days in plaster. Can you, t you can't take that off whenever you want, now, can you then? You have, to, you have to wait until it's ready to come off. Oh my god, that would suck if he was had a really itchy, if he was really itchy and it had to stay on the whole time. So the this part has stayed. I think that. For some reason, that stayed the same, but that's all good. Didn't expect that bit to change because it's a bit too bright. So we've recolored everything. This one doesn't seem like it changed that much, though. Should I put the right color codes in for that one? I don't know now. Let's do. Let's do both of these again. There we go. I was like, that that must I must have done the wrong one because it didn't look right. And I, I still might brighten up that yellow. I don't know yet. We'll see how it looks when everything's in. In fact, let's have a look. Yeah, I think it looked nice a bit brightened up. Um, but I'm going to have to just select that because I don't want the rest of the building to be yellow. So, show grid. I'm going to highlight that and we'll just do that. No, it can come off. Oh, that's good. That's good. I was worried then that you'd have to like have it stuck on for ages. When I broke my wrist years ago, I used to try and get a ruler inside it to scratch. Did you, Asriel? That's a good trick. Did it work? Was it good? It has air chambers and Velcro. Some muscles shrink too. People seem extra friendly when you walk around with a cast, so it's not that bad. Ah. I felt sorry. Bless people. Some people. Some people are nice. Some aren't. You guys are nice people. So when I was saying earlier in stream, oh, I, I don't like humans. So I, I hope chat don't think I mean them because I, I don't. I love. I love chat. Because we get good humans come here. That's why. It's already eight weeks in a cast. That's a long time. I hope it gets better soon. Okay, so I'm just 
yeah there we go I think that's cool now we've got it a little bit brighter okay so new colors of buildings guys let's see how these look just tag that because that was only there for reference purposes so before they looked like uh, that basically now they look like this um, okay so hmm so what size I'm just thinking of the ideal tile set size because we'll probably want more on here. Seven, six, eight, okay. Mm, yeah. that's better in fact I've just thought of something it's our current tile set that we use for the cliffs where is it where's it hiding here no not that one to open it this one this one has got a lot of nonsense on here that i want to delete we don't need all this at the top so we can put the buildings here maybe i don't know if we've got room though three so that's 12 a row of 12. yeah we can make tile sets larger if we're allowed to so seven six eight yeah we'll, we'll put them all on the same sheet i think that will just be a lot tidier visible i wonder what these are gonna look like because these are just the colours for now. I might decide I want them to be a little bit different, like just a bit slightly bit brightened up, but I, I want to see how they look first. Um, the, the tone is basically there, like the shade of brown. So if they're going to be edited, it'd just be like a slightly bit brighter just a bit maybe but we'll see okay so save oh no what am i doing wrong tile set there we go this one I have a very strong memory of a junk stranger bless him hey kid may god's spirit be with you that was maybe about years ago yeah it's funny i would remember certain conversations isn't it oh you can only use what fits on these sheets Oh, what do you mean I only use? Only use for what? You can put whatever you want on the sheets, really. There's no um, sort of restrictions. But because we're doing tile sets, yeah, we take the sheets to do things. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, there we go. I thought something got ruined then, but it's back to normal. Everything messed up on the map. And I was like, what's happened? But then it went back to normal. I think it was because we just resized one of the sheets. That's why. It's all good now. Um, okay, so. Right, so. This one first. Now we're going to have to make an extra layer. So, new tile layer, and we'll call, we'll call this layer buildings. So, we're putting the buildings in. And we'll put it. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it. There we go. Every other layer is locked, so we've got the buildings one on. Um, we'll just put the parallax map overlay on just for a sec so we can see. Um, 
we can get the size in right. Okay, so here we go. Put in in our buildings. And yeah, if I'll probably be fussing with the colours all the time, constantly. Not necessarily on stream, but I might still fuss with them off stream until I like them. go so I think I do want them to be a bit a bit more vibrant I just don't want them to be yellow basically um, okay but we'll get we'll get them all in first we'll work on making them a little pop out a bit more after They're a little bit a little touch saturated at the moment um, okay Never mind, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I forget what I think sometimes too. I'm like, what were we talking about again? I'm always like that. Now, uh, who, which one's the straw one? This one's the straw one. Also guys, I'm going to put a trivia question in chat in a few, just so you guys know. We randomly do trivia questions related to our law of our game sometimes in chat. If anyone wants to see, all the answers will be somewhere in that law bible. We've lost the shadow on the building because uh, that was something that was done automatically in RPG Make before. Um, but we can always add, add our own. No problem. Um, okay, so I want to make these buildings just a touch more vibrant. So let's have a look. So that's what they're like now. That might be a bit much, maybe that. I will for sure be being obsessive messing about with those colours just like I was with the cliffs here I spent ages getting that just right and it's still not the shaping of part of it I'm still not still a bit meh but when the trees are in the way some of that might not look as bad okay so I definitely think this particular building needs to be more less square because we don't we don't need all that and I, it was like that in the original as well like if you look super close there's all this sh weird line st weird straight line there and i think that can be those can be deleted this one isn't as bad because it isn't round it's round because these are, these are wooden round bits, it looks really obvious that line does. Um, so, do you know what happened to the colour? Then, it, yeah, I, it's a purpose dis, purpose decision. Purpose decision. That that doesn't sound right. I'm doing that on purpose because um, the yellow is too much like the yellow in our other region, the farm. So I'm trying to give this Everbloom Forest its own colour scheme. So colour scheme, so it's more distinct. So the buildings are going to be a bit more wood and brown now. 
haven't quite got the wood and brown I want just yet, but it's going to be matching. All the bridges and the tree, the wood on the trees will be the same brown. So it all looks like it's come from the same place. Um, Because we did that for our other map when we was working on the a farm map for the Blash. Back we recolored all the tree wood and all the fences. And by the time we were done and happy with it, it looked really good. It really complemented each other. And I've always felt Everbloom looked a little bit mishmash because of the different colours. Like we got one colour for the bridge wood, one colour for the tree wood, another colour for the building wood. Just seemed a little bit mishmash. Um, purposeful decision. Yeah, I was like, that. I, what I said didn't make sense. Um, okay, so. And it probably looks strange now. I mean, it looks strange to me because I'm so used to seeing how it looked before. But when it's when all the trees and that are next to it, and it all actually is the same colour, I'm sure it'll look much, much better. Um, okay, so this is the one thing that's bothering me now. This particular bit here. So it's not letting me grab it all in one go. I might have to manually go around this. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like using the eraser in case I delete pixels. I shouldn't, so I'm going to do it like this instead. It's a little bit more precise. And yeah, this building doesn't look amazing because of the weird line we've got but hopefully it'll look better once we've uh, got rid of this unnecessary line Yeah, the dark pixels, we don't want them. They look strange, so. Neddings, thank you very much for that host. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Monday. I'm deleting more and more of this, but I find that the dark line look doesn't look incredible so I think making sure in fact this line here looks a bit bad so we'll delete that yeah that's probably better like that like that first one 
weird how that even exists on the tile set because it doesn't do it much much justice at really having the, that there <laughs> so we're deleting it now it's always good to see people use rpg maker oh, thank you nerdins well welcome to the stream we we do that a lot here we're, we're exclusively a stream that stream this game and therefore rpg maker um so yeah i stream three times a week so i can spend the other days working on the game that we're making it's good to meet you it's always good to meet people who out there who appreciate um rpgs and therefore rpg maker maybe or any rpg maker host type indeed <laughs> And, and thank you for the follow as well. I'm not, I can't remember if I said thanks for that or not. <laughs> I know I thanked you for the host. Also, a trivia question, folks. I did promise one. So, if anybody hanging around in chat wants to answer this one, feel free to. And it's okay if these trivia questions stay in chat for a few minutes. Sometimes some of them might need a bit of thought <laughs> trivia question time blueberry lemon plum tomato what fruit is missing van got it you on the ball there van yeah trivia a atx thank you very much for that follow welcome to the stream let's give van the point so anyone here is curious what our trivia is it's all raindrop chronicles questions in our trivia guys so know about our law to answer these ones and whoever gets top of the leaderboard at the end of the month will get a special role in our discord <laughs> shakes feet fist beat me to it most of the questions in there right now are pretty easy like all you'd have to do is watch the story so far video and read a handful of articles on our law bible and you know most of what's in there it, well all of what's on on the trivia questions is in the law bible right now but over time like over the months we'll probably be putting harder questions in especially as the game gets uh playable builds and things like that we'll we'll have uh more challenging questions in there But yeah, we got to start easy and fair for everybody, so nobody gets scared off. Gotta be fast. Now Van's got 10 points now. I'm pretty sure you're top, aren't you? I haven't looked at the leaderboard, so I'm not sure, but wouldn't surprise me if Van was top. I'm not going to fuss too much over this building right now, by the way, because we'll be here all stream just on this building. And I would like to move on to trees today as well, or at least make a start on the trees. I think we've nearly done it. I think there was some bit at the bottom though, wasn't there? Yeah, but we'll do the bottom bit another time if we just did the top for now. Zero raindrops, you need two more to grind to a trickle. you I believe in you. I believe you can become a trickle. Trickles are cute. Who wouldn't want to be a trickle? Okay, so it might not be 100% perfect. 
might still want to get rid of a few of those extra pixels because it looks a little bit spiky <laughs> but it, it's probably better than it was so save that let's have a look Yeah, it's better than it was. We don't have that weird brown line there now. Um, I might try and sharpen parts of the image as well, but we'll see. Because it doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. It'll look better once we get rid of the bits there too. Um, okay, so. Right, so I might just adjust the colour again a little bit. Let's get... Our axe. As a reference image. And the, there was another reference image I was looking at. These here, these buildings here. Now, these are also brown ones, but they're they're not like as yellow as they were before. But they're probably a bit more brown than our current ones, but. Oh, it was, we'll have a mess about. I'm just going to have a mess about with some of the colours for these because I think at the moment they still feel a tiny bit saturated. Just a little bit. Um, No, I was looking at that, we don't want that. Let's go back, okay. Okay, that'll do for now, but as for the colour, I'm, I'm honestly going to mess about with that light because I could spend forever sorting out colour and I'm not sure. That might be a bit too much now, we'll see. It's hard to tell until that it's all in the world and on the tiles. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, get the truck I think the next job's gonna be to get the trees in and then we'll get when we change the bark we'll get an idea of how everything looks then um, okay so next building is this one
Oh yeah, we got to we got to put the bridges in and change that color as well. That'll be an easy job. So we'll do that next. Before we do the trees, we'll do that anyway. There we go. Looking good. We haven't put any of the windows on or any of the signs yet, but we've got the main bits in. It's more about getting the wood stuff in today and decorations can come after. Um, what has happened here? Okay, interesting. It seems <laughs> that this part of the room here has decided to appear in certain areas of the map. That's because that tile used to be empty and now because we filled it in with something it's decided to, yeah okay so we're gonna have to de delete that so we've got to find out what okay it's on the cliff corners and edge of it so it's super easy to sort of delete look away we can just if we ever spot anything odd that's on our maps that shouldn't be that's what's happened we've just put a new tile there we'll just delete it uh, that's another one there we go that might be all of them maybe and yeah our map at the moment is very cut off as you can see there's a lot of strong edges and that's because we've only so far designed the seven maps and the old way of doing things wouldn't have ever allowed you to see across that edge because uh it would stop here the map had stopped scrolling as you walked but the new way that we've got things, unless there's a cliff blocking the way, you'll be able to keep walking. <laughs> so we'll have to, of course, make sure that these borders are sort of filled in as well. But we won't be thinking about that yet because it's a bit, you know, a bit ahead for the future for like when we think of new content and other explorable zones here. For now, we just stick into our seven maps. I have to just accept that there's not anything around here just yeah um okay so yeah we have a building here too so let's just put that one down and we'll put the cabin one down and that, that's two more buildings and that we'll do the bridges and then the trees hi poo who's excited to finally see the trees on our new map Cause they're gonna stay the same like all i'm gonna change is the bark color on the trees so it matches with the wood for the buildings because look how different that is um and i'm um, yeah i might change those leaves to the green ones as well but we'll see we'll see because this one's completely green this tree and Everbloom Forest is very definitely a spring summer sort of uh, feel, whereas the farm's more autumn, more fall. So we might not want to have yellow leaves and keep the yellow to the farm's colour scheme. 
because I, we have to think about stuff like the aesthetics and colour schemes for different regions because we we will be like using the same trees and a lot for to keep consistent with our tiles um, and uh, a lot of that will involve different colour schemes of the trees so that nothing too, looks too much the same. Um, Okay, so buildings, there it is. Um, And then the other building was the cabin that was here, and then that's it for the buildings. So yeah, there's some plants, vines, um, windows, and obviously the doors as well. We'll add those another time. But it does feel like things are slightly a bit more... I don't know, I, I quite like the colour of the buildings now. Um, we'll see when the trees are in before I make up my mind completely. I want to see what the trees look like with bark, that colour. Um, and the bridges as well of course so right bridge time we have a, a bridge here and a bridge here and then we got two more bridges one here and one here so i think that's four bridges so we'll get those into now i've got to find what tile those bridges were on Okay, so they're on here with the trees. Hmm, okay, so trying to remember why these were apart now but I'll remember soon um, we'll get these on this same tile set I'd say Think that's how it is, isn't it? No, it's not. That's how it is. And I think it's like that because, of course, when you walk across the bridge, this part's got to be in front of the player. This section here. 
I think that's why it was set prep. So that's all our nine tiles, so I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's positioned mostly right now. Okay, so. Let's merge those bridges and change their colour just a touch. Okay, so that's a bit closer now. Okay, so new layer for this one. Also, I'm gonna do, looking at the time, I think we'll do another trivia question soon as well, because we've only had one so far in the stream. We'll do another one. Bridges. Definitely strange having this without the buildings. I mean, the bridge is not buildings, did I say? Oh, and thanks for joining the Discord, by the way, Meron and Papa. I appreciate you joining, I'd say. Welcome to the new folks.
Okay, let's see how these how these look. I'm excited to see. And I forgot how I put bridges down now. Okay, so that goes in the middle. That goes there. And they go there. Okay, so it does delete. Yeah, when I do that, it deletes it, which isn't a surprise because it's meant to do that. Um, so. We'll get the top bit in first. I think that's exact. No, that isn't how it goes. Um, Interesting, okay, that might need to a repositioning on the tile sheet. It's a bit far out like that. But then the next square is way too far back, so. So we need a new layer for this part. Bridge top. Thank goodness for unlimited layers in this program. And oopsie, I am not showing you tiled because I'm silly Billy. Okay, here it is though, it's up now. Okay, so our bridge is in, and there was only one problem. Let's zoom out, because I'm a bit confused by that. Oh, okay, I know why it's like. I think I know why it's like that. <laughs> it's because I did move the lake across one so that when the bridge is there it will be completely centered um, I don't know because hmm. yeah we'll see how it looks if we do this though it might look better than I think So, delete that. I was doing it on the wrong layer. So, there. Hide that for a sec because it's confusing. I hope the bridge is strong, yeah. Imagine if it broke. How bad would that be? <laughs> you need to swim, that's for sure. Like, fall itself looks far more dangerous now that there's depth in that lake, like before when there wasn't any depth, when it looked like that. It looked super, like, shallow. But now it's like a massive, like, abyss. Okay, uh, okay, now, there. Also, that might suit being on this tile here. 
because it looks like it's floating a bit in the water there it's not connected as it should be um, I don't even know this one feels a bit close this one feels too close and that one feels too far so if we did this let's go back to our tile and see just move it a bit because that could just make up the difference We just do that put it at the edge then it might actually be positioned properly <laughs> we'll say also i hope you're ready for the trivia guys because it's going in soon you've got the whole of august to get to the top of the leaderboard so we'll find out who our law master is on the last stream of august Okay, so, did we save that? Mm, we did. So now it's, it's closer now. Okay, so it looks a bit better than it did. Because at least that's connected now. I'm still going to have a mess about with that bridge positioning at some point because it's probably a little bit too... Still probably... Probably want it one square further to the right than that really. Okay, so colours look all right though. But I'm still not 100% sure. I still might slightly change the brown off stream when I, when I have time to just mess around with colours for ages. Um, and I can be super fussy about that, but I, I think it's 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 uh it's okay at the moment. Um, okay, now this big bridge here, this big one. Okay, trivia, trivia guys. Trivia question time, what race are at war with the humans? I wonder who will win that one. Reptiles, Ray do well done. GJ. You get a point now. Well done, Raidu. Also, we need to put this as a hot, the highest layer, this bridge, because it's currently going under the waterfall. So, let's put it at the top. There we go. Yuppie! Yeah, GG. Closing that gap. Making the leaderboard close.
Yeah, everything is the same in the positioning of that bridge. Okay, trees. Now this is uh, the big difference. Oh no, we still got two bridges that we forgot about. No, yeah, two bridges, yeah, one here and one here. We might as well do them now, now that we're doing them. Just eating lunch, getting ready to head back to work, making a lot of progress on the map passes. Yeah, not doing too bad at all. We're we've um, we're on to the more structured stuff, the wooden stuff now, like the bridges and the buildings, and we're gonna be doing the trees next. And then once the trees are done, it's all the decorational stuff then. Like the flowers and the vines and all the fancy extras, so yeah, it's definitely forming. It's basically there now. <laughs> like in terms of the foundation of it all. I think by the end of the week, who knows where we'll be with this. We might even be finished, <laughs> who knows? But we don't know, because it can sometimes be hard to to tell what's gonna stumbles we're gonna come across. I don't know why I call that bridge top, it should be called bridge bottom. Or we could call it bridge rope actually, that makes more sense. Because that's what that layer is actually going to be. And I hope your lunch was yummy, Ray. Do. Huzzah, bridge is all done. Do you think there's any more bridges than those four? Okay, and we've got some ladders as well that need to do, but we'll think about the ladders after. I'm too excited for the trees right now. Um, so, trees. Now, this shouldn't be too hard compared to some of the other stuff we've done. Obviously, we've got a lot of trees, so it's going to be really time consuming, but 
in terms of putting them down it's really just not too bad at all um, so all the trees are on here and we need I need to look at which trees we actually use because I don't want to add trees that are necessary to our tiles so let's just have a look at our map and see which trees we 100% use okay so we use the big one in the middle um, we use the two big ones okay so I might reduce the trees just a touch because we have used some autumn trees in that bunch which we don't really need because it's uh we we're using the autumn ones for the for the farm um but this these big green ones this big green one here is the one that goes in the middle of like full with the face with a face on it obviously as well um in fact though I'm, we're going to use a fresh new tiles sheet for this one um we won't be using the building one because we'll, we'll save this for, for other stuff like that we might need um, Call this trees by Maru. Delete everything. Okay, so that's the position of that one, and we also use this one. And we, I like this one too, but what I'm thinking of doing, because I'm not sure about the yellow leaves in it, um, even though they're pretty. Uh, yeah, that doesn't fit, so. In fact, we'll, we'll, put, we'll move that one out of the way because we're not going to see this tree as much because it's only going to be there once. We'll put these two here because these are the ones that we use the most. So we'll save us scrolling on the tile set constantly. Um, okay, so the, it, the trees themselves are the same. The only difference is... one has two little thingies <laughs> what a coming off two hands two arms and it also doesn't have the extra stuff at the bottom either need to be a bit precise about this because we might get some of the yellow leaves pop out
Okay, so I think that's fine. Um, Merges together. Okay, so now it's just so we've got them um, ones. We also use the one without leaves and we use that one. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna just grab these two because we'll use those. ones as well um, but we won't use the that one we we'll use these two in fact I really like this one and I'd be tempted to make other ones with flowers in with different colors because uh, it's the everbloom forest after all So we're we going over the grid with that. We are, aren't we? There we go. That's better. making sure none of the trees are sticking out from the grid okay I think that perfect um, and I don't think there's any more not actual trees we might have put a few shrubs around but we'll we'll think about those when we did the flower part too we'll just think of the trees for now um oh my god i've been holding in my water to the, for the toilet for this whole time <laughs> i don't even need it anymore So is this a little bit, it's hard to think of where to fit this one in. I mean, I could make the tile set bigger. In fact, that might be smart. just so it got more space for other things then okay 
Okay, so everything's ready. Oh no, we haven't done the recolouring of the branch, the bark and the branches. So merge visible. <laughs> we forgot the main bit. Um, I'm still not sure about the wool colour by the way, I'm going to experiment with that because it's a little bit, got a bit of red in it, a bit too much red for my liking and that was the colour of the wood in the farm to complement that, so, um, but we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll figure out something off stream, it's colour is one of those fussy things, but once, once I've done it, once I change the colour, it changes it it's super easy so it's not a problem it's not going to be changed much though like the brown is going to still be the thing but it'd just be the sort of um a few like the color of it the brown slightly it'd be different just a touch okay um Copy the bridge as a reference. So it's sort of like the difference is that's more of a greeny brown and this is more of a reddy brown. And that looks nice too, you know. The greeny brown that the trees currently are. So I'm going to get one of the farm trees we used out and just compare. These were the farm ones, so as you can see, they're just a lot warmer, um, more autumn and warm in colour scheme, and far more of a reddy brown than that one. Um, and I like that they're distinct from each other because that's important, you know, as we go between regions. So. Um, Part of me is thinking to keep these trees the same as they are, but change the rest of the stuff to this shade now. We'll see how the buildings look in that colour and the bridge. Going to have multiple seasons in the game. See, that's another complexity altogether. Like, there's the, there's the whole possibility of seasons, day and night cycle and stuff. And I don't know whether it'd be too much to go that far and having actual seasons. I've thought about a day or night thing, though. That has crossed my mind. Because um, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but... Uh, I think like we see different regions and seasons if that's what I mean like the Everbloom Forest is like an endless summer or endless spring and uh, the area next to the Everbloom Forest which is the farm we made is more of a fall sort of uh, template um, and it would forever stay that way to kind of give it its distinct aesthetic rather than have it change throughout the game um, but yeah it, I, I, li I like different aesthetics, I think it's fun to bring in different colour schemes and stuff. Also, no point in putting in features like seasons unless it actually has key things affecting the game or gameplay elements around it. Yeah, and if it's like linked to the lore and you actually spend time in that region for the whole year round, then it would make sense to have seasons, I guess. Uh, but as this is episodic and we move from place to place, um, 
you know it's like would we go back to the everbloom forest it, it like way later in the game timeline we don't know at this point but um yeah and hi can 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 how are you doing welcome to the stream by the way And yeah, it's another, th it's also like, oh, and you got to be careful, haven't you, when you're one developer having too much st stuff, because more seasons would be more double the assets, well, four times the assets, realistically, because of four seasons. And yeah, that's more work, and it would be great if, like, it was more like a Stardew Valley thing, where, yeah, you do spend time in the place all year round and see the difference in 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 and stuff but yeah totally totally a good point to make can um okay so i'm gonna just try changing the colors that we've got to this color of this bark because i quite have realized i quite like it now i quite like the green brown forever bloom vice rather than the ready brown um We'll see because I still haven't ma made my mind up in all honesty I'm kind of experimenting but yeah well I'm not going to go back to the yellow version because I think it only needs a slight edit this does show selective colour hmm Yeah, so just doing that has made it more of a green brown instantly. So I'm going to make a note of that so I don't forget that change. So let's see, cyan minus 20, magenta is minus 40. So it's like that before and now it's like that. So I've changed the bridge as well. Yeah, now everything resembles the the the, the bark of the tree in colour way more now. Um, that was it before, and that's it now. Um, so I'm gonna just save that again. We'll go back to tiled with our new. I think the roof of that one needs a slight edit.
but it's 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 getting close it's it will get there getting closer okay so trees so did we save the tree uh okay so here we go here's our trees so save as now let's bring these lovelies into tiled Should we put a big one in the middle first? I think so. So we're gonna need a new layer, obviously. Trees. There. Now we have moved everything across one, across to the right one, compared to the original, because it was a little bit off center, I noticed. And um, the bridge, of, I, we wanted it to be in the middle and we also want it to be sort of parallel to the cave that's going to be down below just for reasons. Because um, it's pretty cool like that. Um, so. Ooh, fancy. So it is resembling looking at the, the colour of the bridge and the bark of the tree, it's much closer now, they're the same. They're the same now. Okay, oh my God, we're gonna get trees down before the end of stream. Hi Kira, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are we already like, it's already like half past five here in England. That is like, been streaming for three hours it's like crazy because it feels more like one hour at most <laughs> um but we will have a trivia before the end one more probably because i like to do at least two or three in a day um okay so let's get these trees down I think those are the only, it's going to be fun seeing everything slowly get built. Let's see how many trees we can get in before the end of the stream. That's the challenge. Any predictions? <laughs> um, so I'm literally just using the old map to to at least get them in the play, the right place. Because they were positioned perfectly really, there's no reason to have it any different compared to what it was. So it's looking a bit more, I mean we have some smaller trees in like fall too so we'll get those down as well. Um, This is exciting. <laughs> We've seen it all come to life again. But it's a better one now. A be better, slightly better map. More, more fancy. Yeah, coming up to half five, gonna grab some dinner soon. Oh, what are you gonna have for dinner? Anything yummy? Okay, so I have one tree like that. What other tall trees do we have here? This is fun. This is like a jigsaw puzzle. I love it. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. 
anyone else would find this really boring to do, I bet. sure every tree yeah every single tree is in like full now i believe well in the inside part anyway we obviously have some that border but we'll do those after and we still got to put the face on the tree and put the graves around and everything else we've got to decorate buildings put flowers down one thing we didn't do on our original map guys was have flowers in like full you know how Everbloom's got all these flowers here? We didn't have them in like fall, it's bland. Like we got a few scattered around. But we what I wanted to do was have some more round the corners, like the borders. Like just not not so much in the main town area, but on the borders I wanted loads of flowers kind of coming in. So it would blend better. So we literally didn't have any apart from a few these a, a tiny few but wanted it to be like more like that okay so now we've done we're going to move from map to map so we've got seven maps of trees to do here so i'm going to we're going to do the bless cascade now i'm going to try and get all all seven maps done before we end the stream Let's go fast mode because uh, this is this is probably one of the easiest parts to do funnily enough. So we have two big tree types, one has like arms and one doesn't and I kind of put a mixture of the two there just to vary it up a bit so all the trees don't like look like the same. Now, now for short trees. Okay, so that's done. My God, putting down the trees is so much easier than putting down the paths and the grass. Because I took blooming forever to do that, dude, because I kept it the same. <laughs> I just wanted it to look exactly the same. So I didn't change the way the paths and the grass look. But both because the trees are less like, well, the bigger aren't the first star. It's much easier to just put them down. Um, Cool. Okay, now what the next map? I'm gonna just I'm just double checking that we've put every tree there that we need. It's really easy to compare the two versions. I feel like we've moved we've moved pretty we've moved pretty decently fast. I mean we only just started this on Wednesday, remember? Um, we literally had nothing but flat cliff on the screen on Wednesday last week and now we've like come this far like it's literally coming into place now I can see by the end of the week this getting fully decorated thank you for that follow um, user UMP I appreciate that welcome to the stream how are you doing good to meet you Always good to meet new faces and awesome peoples if you're new, if you're awesome and new. And we, we do get, we get nice people. 
come here. That's very rare. We get mainly butt faces. We all, you always get one. But luckily, I'd say I'm quite lucky, in all honesty, compared to what some streamers get. But, you know, it's the internet. <laughs> okay, so there's less big trees on this map, but there's loads of tiny ones on the ground, so we've got to do those. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so I think they're all done. We've got to do all the little ones though, that's the big job. But I think we'll save those ones to last. We also forgot a bridge that goes here too. So I'm going to just get that bridge down now. doing fine I'm glad to hear it I'm glad to hear it Monday is usually a sucky day of the week for many but you know try our best to make that better in this stream that's why I stream on Monday so it's a bit less depressing Um, okay, that's fine, that bridge is all fine, lock that layer now, um, yeah we still have the trees to put on the outskirts as well, but we'll do the main maps first. And then we'll do all the like small little extra bits after. This looks like Terraria if it was a top down RPG. Oh yeah. It's a good game that one. I haven't played it in a while. But I really like it. Yeah. It's um it's for sure got a a sort of look to it it's a good it's a game i'd like to be don't mind being compared to so <laughs> um okay so back back to this section so yeah we'll do the trees in this bit now um put these ones first so yeah guys for those that are new popping in we we're actually redoing our old maps this what you see here the fancy full one is our old version and this is our new one and they're literally not gonna look much difference at all at all the reason we're changing them is not for aesthetic reasons well a few improvements we put in there at, like we improved the cliffs a bit and some of the coloring of some things but Really, the main reason we're changing it is for uh, technical and uh, gameplay reasons because we're switching back to tile sets from PNG image maps. So PNG image maps really were restrictive to us quite a lot. We couldn't have big open maps using PNG images because they take too much memory. Um, we can't have it looking like this, which sad we have to like split it up into small squares but this way using tile sets converting all this to tile sets which is what we're doing now it's just we are allowed to have big maps this way and it's it's gonna look super nice it's gonna be more seamless and immersive this way and definitely less laggy as well and a lot easier for me to make edits and changes too as well and um It's just nicer. But 
but so far I'd say putting the trees down has been the easiest part of everything we've done in the mapping. So I just have to literally plop them where they were and then they're there. Is that all of them? It's all the big ones apart from that one there at the back. That one there. Now it's overlaid. Okay, so this is interesting now because we've got the problem with trees overlapping. So it looks like we will have to split the trees into two layers so that we can still have them overlap. Um, unless, I mean, would this work? I think it'd still get rid, yeah, it might still get rid of them though. Yeah, yeah, like that. So yeah, there is a little issue with things like that, so, hmm for way around that also i'm gonna have a quick a very very quick brb break just like a couple of minutes for a toilet break i've had way too much water so i'll see you in a few guys don't go anywhere
Okay, I am back. Hello, everybody. I have returned. Okay, so we had a little small problem as I left. We found out that some of the trees, you know, this happens when they're all on the same layer with the tile set. So, um, one thing that wasn't an issue with the Parallax mapping because they were just images, you know, not tiles. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna have to split these up into two layers now and I want to keep it organized really so I might split it by tree type because um, we do have di two different types of trees so might start again guys not honest but it was fast enough to do hi Oracle how are you doing it's good to see you um, because we it, we you know if, if we start from now it's going to be very disorganized so I'm going to start again, it literally took us five minutes to put those trees down, so I don't think, I'm not too upset about that. Um, so instead, what we're going to do now, by the end of stream, we'll have them all down. Well, we'll have all the big ones down of the main maps anyway, that's the goal. So, we'll call this layer trees, more trees, we'll call them more trees, trees and more trees. So we'll do trees first. Um, and that way we won't have an overlap issue if we break them down like that. So we'll put the big one back again. Should we put the big one? Yeah, we'll put him there though, we'll put him in the middle. Okay. Now I'm doing the ones with eye charms for the first tree layer. I think we'll do it like that. And do the ones with arms for the second. How's it going the Oracle? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Hope it's been nice to you. Okay, cool. And we'll put the little we'll put the little trees together on the small one. I don't think we can have overlap issues with the little ones. I hope not. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have a quick look actually to see if any of the little ones end up overlapping. Because obviously the big ones will. But I don't think I'd have put two little ones too close together that they'd overlap. No, I think we're all good with them. So we can. But they will overlap down here, <laughs> that's for sure, in this section. Um, so yeah, actually. So many without one, well, no, there's gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna have to be a different layer for every tree type, actually, because there's so many for that one. Um, Things are okay, just finish my full moon rituals. Oh my goodness, are you a werewolf now? Is that what's going on? We'll do big trees first. I'll think about the little ones later because it's, uh, it's, um, we got those that problem to think of when they all overlap down there um so we'll just do the big we'll do the big trees everywhere first put the ones without arms down first Mm 
And then... Nah, just a witch, nothing too fancy. <laughs> or witches are witches are fancy. So easy to accidentally put everything on in the wrong layer. No, yeah, oops. <laughs> There we go. I'll be happy to know we've got the big trees down by the end of the stream. And also we got a trivia, last trivia question of the day is coming up as well before the end guys. Um, okay, more trees, so once with arms first. the problem so we we overlapped it fine there but then that one we might need three layers of trees <laughs> oh my god i was like yeah because it's you see what's happened here don't you there's uh, it's sticking out over the top the shadows going over it and so I, in this one we need three there's it's a it's an absolute good job that uh, unlimited layers are a thing in this program very grateful for this program um, so I might have to deal with that as well so hmm I mean it'd be easy to just move the tree in all honesty like move it up there but, you know, the overlap trees are a nice touch as well. Um, but three trees overlapping might be making it difficult for ourselves. So I'm thinking just for this particular tree, maybe we could... But then we've still got this to deal with with these trees here look these are all overlapping like crazy so when the time comes we're gonna we're gonna have about 10 layers for this thing absolute craziness with those trees so <laughs> I like the yeah, me too. And I was gonna make it easy on myself then and move it across a bit. This tray, I was gonna move it there, but I'm not going to because 
we still have this to deal with anyway where we've got a ton of overlap trees and I don't want to get rid of these no way am I going to make the map look worse that's not the intention here so <laughs> we're going to keep all the trees in the same position and everything's going to look the same everything's going to be overlap but we might need a few several layers to achieve that look and I have to I have to think how I'm going to best organize this hmm because I don't want to just put random trees on random layers because I'm not going to know what's what I'm going to get confused so I think tree types probably a good one say I'll be doing this off stream anyway it's going to take a bit of thinking time what trees to put on which layers now is me saying trees were going to be easy <laughs> nothing's easy that is the honest truth if you'll come across a hurdle somewhere with every little task you do so uh, always be prepared for it never think this time this bit's gonna be the easy bit because then it'll come and bite you in the butt just like mine got bitten thinking trees were gonna be easy and i realized they're not <laughs> so okay guys now um, let's have a think what's gonna be happening between now and next stream and what we'll be doing next stream but first i'm going to get the next trivia question because before we end because i promised it so there we go guys trivia question time what is the name of nigel brookings and sister you'll never get this one chat never get it it's impossible Fiona Bookington, you got it, Van. Okay. <laughs> well done, Van. One point. I think you're top. I think you're top by a few points, but it's still very early days. Still at the start of the month. And we've got a lot ahead. Yay, GG. Okay, folks. Um, I know what I was thinking, Fiona, but I thought surely that wasn't it. Really? You thought it wasn't Fiona Rex? And welcome, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Was it too easy to be at Fiona? Remember, though, it's better to say an answer and get it wrong than not say anything at all because you might get it right and then you'd get the point. So. Okay, guys, so I'm going to pass the love to someone else and it'd be awesome if you could join us, guys. But before we do, let's just make sure that we've... Uh, discuss i'm gonna i'm gonna get these trees down between now and next stream of course that's priority um and that that will be moving on we'll literally have the flowers and all the extra stuff to do after that so um yeah trees so expect next stream for us to be working more on the finer details like the flowers and getting all those arranged that will be an interesting thing to pull off on tile sets i have to say flowers on tile sets but i have a couple of ideas in mind for doing that um and uh i'm gonna probably in between now and next stream get try and get more profiles up on the law bible um I keep neglecting it because I keep getting distracted by this program and getting this map done because this is like priority at the moment. Um, but the law bible stuff is as well. So uh, um, once I've done the trees, that trees are priority. Once I've done the trees, I might get some law bible profiles done. But we'll see what's what everything where everything is on Wednesday. We never know. Um, okay so so guys still cool if you could come with me to a stream um 
Okay, um, Chocolate Kieran is new to Final Fantasy XIV. He says he's a new player and he wants advice on it. And, uh, well, I'm a fan of Final Fantasy XIV. I'm unsubbed at the moment, but it's a great game, great MMO. It's always good to see new people play that one. Um, and uh, he is a super cool person, so I think we should go say hi to him and give him some love on this, on his new game. Um, so. There we go. So, I'll see you all on Wednesday, guys. Thank you for being amazing. Take care.